Don't do a whole lot of caliper overhauls in the business anymore. There's really not a whole lot of percentage in it. You can purchase a brand new caliper or a remanufactured caliper relatively inexpensively. However, there may be a time where you've got to take a caliper apart, put it back together again. The trick is to use a little bit of compressed air and apply the air to the uh, line inlet on the caliper. You want to put a piece of uh, wood between the caliper piston and the caliper body so when the uh, piston does come out, it doesn't damage the uh, piston as it comes out against the body. Make sure you're wearing safety glasses. Apply some air to the back. There we go. Piston's been blown out. Going to finish taking it out here. Put a shop towel. Get that final little bit. There we go. All the way out. Now, not all calipers have a seal, a dust seal, that you can uh, press in. This one here has a seal that fits into a channel in the caliper body. And so to replace that seal is, you know, standard for a caliper overhaul. But putting the thing back together again can be really a pain in the butt. So for reassembly, assuming we replace the seal, we replace the O-rings, we've done all that stuff, what we do is clean up the piston, lubricate the piston with clean brake fluid. So we get a little brake fluid out of this caliper right here. And keep in mind, this is just a demonstration. I'm not actually overhauling this thing. All right, now... Wear some gloves, set the caliper piston into its general position. More air. You're going to, again, apply a little air to the back side of the caliper. And the point is to try and blow the seal around the caliper piston. Sometimes easier said than done. There we go. By putting a little bit of air against the back side, I just blew the seal out, kind of like blowing up a balloon, until it surrounded the piston. Center the piston up. Don't try and force a piston in that's cocked up in the bore. Once the piston's been centered up, you should be able to compress it without too many problems. So let's see. There we go. And... All right, it's back in place. That's how you reassemble a caliper that doesn't have a press-in type seal. If you have a press-in seal, you don't need to deal with the uh, blow the seal out around the piston situation because you could put the piston in and then press the seal in around it. That's it. Pretty straightforward, but actually a good uh, case for bloody knuckles. Again, make sure you're wearing safety glasses strongly encourage you to wear some gloves. Enjoy!